The purpose of this video is to introduce the new uh, terminal view in wallet.fullstack.cache. So um, the PSF developer community has a JavaScript command line app called PSF BCH Wallet. And it's great for rapid prototyping and sharing ideas, but there's a lot of friction because you have to set up a, a JavaScript developer environment in order to use it and that intimidates a lot of people so I thought wouldn't it be great if I just rolled it into the web wallet so I don't have a lot of commands yet but I just wanted to show them off uh, so there's four clear clears the terminal um, <clears throat> and so one of the the key things I'm honing in on at first is uh, this this HD wallet capability so the wallet uses a mnemonic which is sometimes referred to as a key ring because it can generate millions of key pairs but the web wallet itself only uses the first the index zero so the first key pair generated by the mnemonic but with this terminal you can access any key pair uh, controlled by the mnemonic so um, this work is leading up to more work I want to do with uh, token creation management of minting batons, um, creating NFTs and tokens with both mutable and immutable data of up to 100 megabytes. I've been uh, working with TokenTiger.com, which is a fun app for creating NFTs, and uh, we've been figuring out how to attach IPFS data to a token so the token can actually represent like a large payload of up to 100 megabytes. So that's what this work is, is leading up to. But just to introduce some of these uh, examples, so if I go wallet info, that shows this is the same wallet that the web wallet is using. That's, uh, so by default, that's where you're at, and you can tell that by its index zero on the HD path. So this command shows you the mnemonic, the public and private keys, and the different public addresses uh, that are generated by it. And each command has uh, a help. So if you do the command and help, it'll it'll give you more information about that command. Wallet index allows you to change the um, the index used by the wallet. So if I go wallet index index equals one, that'll be the next key on the key ring. The um, so now if I go wallet info, you can see that things have changed a little bit. The mnemonic stays the same but the Bitcoin cash address QZ65 changes. Now it's QQXJ. Um, so this is the next key pair on the key ring. And I can keep doing this. I can put any number I want into the, this number for the index. You can generate millions of them. And uh, so this is just a quick, easy way to get to uh, the um, a different key pair in the key ring. And there's also this wallet balance command which just gives you the balance of the current wallet. So right now I've got zero in that uh, index one. So if I switch back to the first key pair, um, which is the same one the web wallet's using, I loaded some Bitcoin Cash and tokens into this. Um, so now if I go wallet balance, it should show me my Bitcoin Cash and, and my tokens that I have. There we go. So I've got a little bit of BCH, got some tokens. Uh, so those are the commands for now. There's going to be more. Like I said, this the main focus for this terminal is for managing uh, token creation, minting batons, and adding data to tokens. Um, that stuff that is fairly complex and it would take a long time to build a graphical user interface so I want to get it out the door as quickly as possible so I'm going to be using this command line terminal so for advanced users can go to this terminal and, and use those tools first it might be a while until you know or, or maybe never that a graphical user interface gets built for those features but if you're a developer and this inspires you and you want to do some rapid prototyping and maybe kick the tires let me show you where the repository is it's on GitHub under the Permissionless Software Foundation and the repository is BCH Wallet Web3 Android because this can be compiled into an Android app and uh, for the terminal specifically you go to the source directory components uh, oh uh, 
sorry, uh, this is not on the main branch yet. It will be eventually, but you can go to the terminal uh, branch, and then when you're in there, you can go to source, components, terminal. And uh, so index is the main uh, GUI that is displayed, command router routes the commands to the appropriate command, and then the commands themselves are in this folder. So you can see the wallet info, wallet index, and wallet balance commands. And so there's a pattern there that you can follow. So if you like playing with Bitcoin Cash in JavaScript, and you've got an idea for some sort of command you want to do, uh, fork this repository and add your command and show it off in the Telegram channel.